Good morning. Well, here we are and here we are. Hardly seems very much what I do making these little films, but I don't seem to come up with a great deal more as yet. It's no good if I'm alone. That's the whole point. I'm living in this godless generation amongst a godless people. My church, the Church of England, is debating, and now that is Rowan Williams, the current Archbishop, and the second Archbishop, St. Amu, Bishop of York, Archbishop of York. I've been to York. He fasted for this is St. Amu. A month, eight days rather, in the cathedral at York, on the minster at York. About something, I don't know what actually, I think it, hopefully it was the war in Iraq, but I'm not quite sure that it was. But there he is, in a tank, you know, saying, yay, this is the problem. My country, England. Britain. We're a warlike nation. You can't kill and be a Christian. It's quite simple. Christ gave us the new covenant. Turn the other cheek. If they hit you, hit them the other cheek. And this other phrase, every single hair on the head of your fellow man is precious and special. So no violence. Yes, the Old Testament is awash with violence. That was for God's chosen people, the Israelites. Christ didn't perform, he didn't start fighting the Romans, did he? Getting up armies and things to kill people, did he? Absolutely not. Anyway, that's one issue that I have with the Church of England, and the other big one is ordaining women, never mind bishops. Boy, oh boy. Christ chose 12 men to become disciples, to scare I learned, so he taught them everything, viewed with the Holy Spirit, apostles to go out. There's something, there is a difference between men and women. This does not denigrate women. My mother was a woman, very fine lady, my grandmother, very fine lady, thank you very much indeed, Scottish. Beautiful, strong lady. And he was not constrained by the morrows of his day. Christ, Christ was God's word made flesh. Everything he said and did was perfect. He came to fulfill the prophets, the law and the prophets, for all time, for eternity. Anyway, <clears throat> so those are the two big issues. They also, are not going to uh, have this homosexual bishop. I mean, people can't see that. What, what signal does that send out that a leader of the church has, is a homosexual? I mean, come on, I've got nothing against, well, people in the privacy of their own home should be at liberty to get up to whatever they want to get up to. Fine, okay, I might accept that, but for heaven's sake, I mean, have a homosexual bishop openly flaunting himself around, for heaven's sake. So, schism, 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 that is the point, isn't it? Ordaining women and... <laughs> what can I do about it? Hey, what can I do about it? You know, I know the difference between right and wrong, and it's not me saying this, it's Christ's teaching. That's the whole point. This is just my little morning routine. I look at the little cherry tree on the top of the hill. It's lying up there, see there's some little guarding, and we have a quick boom. See, guarding. I don't know if you can see that, but... Invites one in 